there, and welcome back to The Happy Mix, your monthly dose of all things geeky, nerdy, feel-good and fun. My name is not Captain America, although I can understand why you would make that mistake. Me and Chris Evans have a lot in common, we're both incredibly handsome, very muscular and we do all of our own stunts. Of course I kid. My name is Nath Kyle, or Elekthan on YouTube, it is wonderful to be with all of you. This month we are taking a look into all things superheroic. Because as my housemate Danny pointed out last month, March is three-fifths of Marvel, or at least in terms of letters to the word. So we are going to be delving into Marvel, DC, Pixar, Disney, and all the good stuff in between. We have our regular review segment in a moment, Geek Speak, which will be followed, of course, by a Good News Everyone, where we look at something in the news that is feel good and makes us feel all nice and warm and fuzzy in our tum-tums. But also exciting this month, we've got a new segment. I am doing one of my favourite things in the world because I'm a massive man-child and I really enjoy the suspense of it. We're going to be doing an unboxing and of course it will be a super heroic unboxing so we'll get to that. You've got all of this to look forward to but for now let me start with Geek Speak. First up this month is the greatest pairing of two things since Batman met Robin. Disney Pixar's The Incredibles The Lego Video Game is an adaption and expansion on both of the films of the same name and follows the tried and true formula that fans of Traveller's Tales hit gaming franchise will know and love. Whether you want to enjoy the story, which has been imbued with Lego series usual brand of wit, charm and genuine laugh out loud moments or you'd prefer to explore the vast open world to engage in the numerous side hustles, including races, crime waves, puzzle platforming, or unearthing some of the numerous collectibles that the game has to offer, you will almost certainly do so with a superhero-sized smile on your face. Filled with easter eggs, collectibles, an expansive creator character mode, and of course more studs than a snow tyre, LEGO The Incredibles is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC from a price of $19.99 and please remember, no cape darling! Sticking with the brand that has been crippling barefoot parents for years comes a LEGO styled replica of the MacGuffin Mip simply known to fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the Infinity Gauntlet. Comprised of 590 individually specially made LEGO pieces, this fully poseable fist of fatality comes with a display stand, name card and of course the six infinity stones which are for the uninitiated, the space stone, mind stone, power stone, reality stone, time stone and of course the infamous soul stone. But fear not, there is no need for a trip to Vormire this time, I'm not crying, you are. The Infinity Gauntlet is available for $54.99 from your local retailer. Make sure to snap it up! Uh huh, uh huh. If you prefer a more grounded tale of Daring Do, then allow me to introduce Oliver Queen, who for five years was stranded on an island with only one goal survival. When this former idiot billionaire playboy is rescued from half a decade in Pacific Island Purgatory, he returns to Star City with a list of names and a resolve to save his city from those on that list. But to do so, he will need to become something else. He will need to become someone else. The Arrow series is a complex and often gritty account of how one man chooses to try and transform his life and the lives of those around him. Often morally grey and by no means without challenge, the Emerald Archer explores themes such as vigilantism, capitalism, drug and gun culture, racism and misogyny, featuring big names such as Stephen Amell, John Barrowman, Katie Cassidy and the excellent Paul Blackthorne. Arrow Series 1-8 to is an absolute bullseye and a must-have addition to your quiver of superhero shows. Now, I couldn't possibly make a list of heroic recommendations without including the medium that inspired so many of the franchises that we're discussing. Launched in the year 2000 and running for a total of 160 issues, Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley's run of Ultimate Spider-Man comics is nothing short of Peter Parker perfection. Initially designed as a love letter to the most famous of Stan Lee's creations, 
Ultimate Spider-Man is a modern day retelling of the great power comes great responsibility story. The series reimagines some of the most iconic characters across the Spider-Verse and brings them webbing and swinging into the modern day. Full of rich character development, edgy and often subverting the readers' expectations, Ultimate Spider-Man follows Peter, Mary Jane, Harry and Gwen through the rigours of homework, romance, life, death and having a father that injects himself with crazy juice that turns him into a genetically altered fiery green goblin that tries to blow up the school. Yeah, but seriously, I credit this series as the reason that I love comics. Look it up, it's absolutely fantastic. I cannot recommend this series highly enough. And Finalement is the new kid on the block, My Hero Academia. This anime is set in a world where the majority of the populace is born with a unique superpower known as a quirk. Enter Izuku Midoriya, or Deku to his chums, a quirkless boy with a heart of gold and a burning desire to become like his idol, the number one hero in the world, All Might. Basically picture what would happen if Johnny Bravo was to merge with Superman and you're kind of there. When a chance encounter with Deku inspires All Might into taking the hapless hero wannabe under his wing, Deku is imbued with his hero's hand-me-down power all for one, and is finally on his way to the UA High School. Basically, think Hogwarts for heroes. Boasting a colourful cast, crisp animation and a soundtrack that will keep your blood pumping and your ear holes smiling, My Hero Academia is a fresh new take on the hero genre that will have you on the very edge of your seat. Series 1 through 4 are available on DVD and Blu-ray wherever DVDs and Blu-rays are sold. So next up, I've been really looking forward to this, we're doing a mystery unboxing. I have in my possession a HMV Superheroes Edition mystery box. These retail for $24.99, it's been sat in the corner of my room for ages while I've been fighting the urge to, uh, to unbox it on camera. So now is the time for that. What usually happens when I unbox something is I'll pull out an item at random. If it's a good item, I'll give it an up. If it's a bad item, I'll give it a down. Hopefully by the end we should have more ups than downs if it's a good box. The items are kind of put in at random but they are estimated to be collectively to the value of around £50 at the time they're packed. These things do tend to sit in HMV for a good old while before they get bought though, so the value of the items inside could have gone up or down in the time between it being packed and it being unboxed. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, turn this away from myself and point it towards you guys. You may be able to see what's inside, you may not, but uh, without further ado, let's unbox it. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, I can feel many things. What's this? This feels interesting. It feels soft. Okay, we'll try this. Oh cool, okay. So these are Batman face covers. That's really nice. We're still kind of coming out of the pandemic, I guess, and these things, I still use them. I'm still wearing my uh, my masks when I'm in the supermarket and whatnot. So this is uh, very stylish. I'm happy with that. That can have an up. We'll go in for number two. Okay, what's that? It's metally. This might be a pin. It is a pin. It is a uh, Spiderman pin. I do like Spider-Man. I have a rucksack that I can stick this on. Um, it's good quality as well. Yeah, no complaints. That gets an up as well. Let's see what else we've got in here. Okay, I think I know what this is because I've done these mystery boxes before. Yeah, okay. We have a stationery kit um, in the style of Harley Quinn. So there is a ruler, a pen, I imagine a rubber, um, yep, a sharpener. I mean, it's cheap tat. I'm not a huge Harley Quinn fan either, I just, I've always been more Marvel than DC. Yeah, it's, it's in there to fill a spot, isn't it? I'm afraid that's got to get it down, so we'll stick it down there in the, uh, the pile of mess of shame. Let's see if we've got anything better. Ooh, fluffy. There's something fluffy. Oh, okay. Well, sticking with the uh, the Harley Quinn theme, we've got an I am crazy for you 
pencil with one of these inexplicably fluffy pom-poms. Yeah, um, I, I'd use pens, not pencils really. I'm not a 12 year old girl on my way to school, so this isn't for me. So that gets a down also. So at the moment we are two for two. Um, what do we have in the box now? Okay, that feels big. I like the feel of that. It feels like a mug. Is it a good mug or a bad mug though? Have a fight with the box. Oh, very nice. Yes, okay, this can have an up. This is an Avengers Infinity War mug. These usually retail for kind of around $9.99 in HMV. So that makes up a good chunk of the value of the box. Um, yeah, no complaints whatsoever. Let's just uh, let's take it out and actually have a little, little look. Yeah, that's really nice. No complaints whatsoever. I'll have a cup of tea out of that later on, I think. That can have the up. What do we have next? Okay, there's something here, what's this? Oh blimey, okay. It's a down immediately, I'm afraid. Um, these are Harley Quinn Birds of Prey vinyl stickers. Um, again, if I was a 12 year old girl and I had a diary, I would, you know, stick this all over it, but I'm not and I don't, so see you bye. Right. That, I think we've got two more items. So, let's see what this is. Oh blimey, that's, that's very pink. Okay, um, this is a Wonder Woman Premium A5 Notebook. Um, now, it is exceptionally pink, and obviously I'm, you know, not that we're here to gender stereotype colours at all. It isn't for me, but it's really nice quality. It's got that kind of like faux leather on the front, and little bookcase, there's gold kind of embossing on the pages and whatnot. Um, that can have enough because I'm going to be able to, uh, to pawn that off as a, as a birthday present to somebody down the line. It's not a bad item at all, so it would be cruel to give that a down. They, uh, they put a nice value item in there. And I think this might be it. Let's just rummage and feel. Cool, that's it I think. Just shake that. Yep. Right, final item, what we got? That's upside down and back to front. That is a Deadpool magnet set. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, that's really cool. That is, um, oh, that's really nice. I like that a lot. It's not kind of too offensive either because Deadpool does have a reputation of being a bit, a uh, bit close to the knuckle for some people. Oh, that's that's really cool. I like that. I've got a little uh, mini fridge downstairs where I keep my uh, my milk for my tea and uh, other bits and pieces. So that is uh, something I will definitely be keeping for myself and using. You know what, that's not just getting an up, that's getting a golden up. Because we give something a golden up if it's really, really good. That's been really fun. Um, I think overall we've had, what is that, five ups and three downs. So that's not terrible at all. Um, I feel like I've gotten a good bit of value for money out of that box. Next month we're going to be doing um, a, a different theme again. We're going to be doing an anime theme. So I'm going to see if I can pick up the anime version or the uh, kind of the East meets West version of that mystery box and we'll unbox that as well so that's something to look forward to but yeah very happy with that all in all now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna go uh, make a cup of tea and stick these on the fridge good news everyone now sticking with our superhero theme for the month I've done a little soul searching in preparation for the two good news stories that I'm looking to share with you guys today. So I decided to think a little bit about what it means to me to be a superhero, or more accurately, the term superhuman. What does that mean? Superhuman's one of those wonderful things that is two words smushed together and has one meaning, I guess, because of it. I like to pick it apart. I am a child of the 90s and what that basically means is that I grew up on a steady diet of anime pro wrestling and of course Saturday morning cartoons involving superheroes. So I grew up watching these larger than life characters catching trains and planes and automobiles and protecting the innocent, fighting the good fight. Now as a kid I was wowed by that, I thought Superman and his cape were the greatest thing going, you know, Batman punching the Joker right in the nose is awesome. As an adult, I kind of realised that the super side of superhuman is the flash and the bang and the super exciting and the eye-catching stuff, but it isn't the most important part. I really gravitate towards the kind of the more human side of these characters. So my favourite superhero is Spider-Man, 
And the reason that Spider-Man's my favourite superhero isn't because of the flashy, you know, red and blue costume or the fact that he shoots webs out of his wrists rather than his you-know-what. It is all to do with the fact that Peter Parker is a very relatable character because Peter Parker is nerdy, awkward and socially anxious. He is this kind of morally fallible character. He doesn't always do the right thing. He has to strive and grow. And some of the decisions he makes are very personal decisions. It isn't about the man in the mask. It's about the man behind the glasses who has to go and do the food shopping or to look after his elderly aunt to balance, you know, college, work and life and all those other good things. And um, while I was thinking about this, it reminded me of my favourite uh, Tolkien quote. I'm just going to paraphrase it, where he talks about it's, you know, not about the big grandiose, over the top, running into buildings to save babies kind of stuff. It's much more about the small decisions that you make on a day to day, those little sacrifices that you make for other people. That's the stuff that's truly valuable and truly heroic, because it does come at that personal sacrifice and it's, you know, sharing love with people in your sphere of influence. And that leads me on to story number one. Story number one is about a lady called Selena Mills who lives in Nottingham. Selena is a 37 year old mum and to top that, and by the way, if you're a mum, you're a superhero anyway in my eyes because kids are tough, like whoa. But Selena also runs two children's shelters in Nottingham. Not one, two. Like, I struggle with one job. Don't give me a second one. It's super cool what she does, and honestly, if you work in that industry, you have my undying uh, affection and respect. That's so cool. Now, Selena's out on a Saturday with her two kids in tow. Um, they drive into Nottingham City Centre, park up in one of the multiplexes, and go and do their food shopping. Um, but before that, of course, Selena goes to the, uh, the usual ticket thing you get in car parks. I don't drive, so this is just me postulating. Um, but she pays for a ticket, sticks it in the car, slams the door. Unfortunately, as she slams the door, the kind of the gust of wind or the force of the door or what have you knocks the ticket over into the corner and very much out of the line of sight of the oncoming ticket inspector who, boo hiss, decides he can't see a ticket and therefore slaps a penalty notice on the front of Selena's car. So an hour and a half later, very much within the allotted ticket time, I should add as well, Selena and her kids come back to the car. And I imagine in my mind's eye, she's doing that thing that all mums do, where you've got the kids, but also like 30 shopping bags in each hand. I don't know how mums do it. It's flipping incredible. If we ever go to war, just line mums with shopping in their hands up along the front line, the enemy will just turn and run. But they get back to the car. And yeah, you've got that horrible yellow square that all of us dread to see, which is the penalty notice. As she gets closer, there's a handwritten kind of message on the back of another parking ticket. Uh, a bit like how Spider-Man, when he webs up a bad guy, he leaves a little note for the cops that says, courtesy your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Selena reads this message, and I'm just gonna put it up on screen for you guys now, but it says to the effect, from one mum to another, you know, this is just a random act of kindness, pay it forward, but I can see what's happened. Someone's ticketed you unfairly. Please accept this £20 note that I've tucked inside and, uh, you know, yeah, share the love, pay it forward. Uh, it turns out a lady called Sonia Robinson was walking along, saw what happened, realised by the stuff in the back of the car, oh, this is clearly a mum doing her shopping. She's going to be, you know, wrecked by this coming back to the car on a busy Saturday and to be faced with a penalty notice. So she does this incredible thing and pays £20 of the £25 fine that, uh, that Selena was faced with. It's such a simple thing. It's not running into a building to save a baby. It's not fighting off a mopey zoo lion to protect kids at school or anything like that. But it's just a small act of kindness. I think that's so heroic. Um, and it's something that I find really inspiring. So this story happened and I found it. And then I was really blessed by something someone did for me. So. As you can see on my t-shirt, I do virtual running challenges with a company called Conqueror Challenges. I'll throw up a link on screen now so you guys can uh, investigate should you so wish to. Conqueror do virtual walks, stuff like Mount Fuji, John O'Groats the Land's End. You stick your Strava on, you walk in your local area, and then you can follow your progress Indiana Jones style as you kind of go through the, uh, the map and you hit different uh, milestones. Every 20% of a challenge you do, 
They plant a tree, which is pretty cool. They're a very eco-friendly company. They're a charity. But they did something a little different um, about a month ago when everything started kicking off in the Ukraine. And uh, I'm not going to offer any political insights or opinions because that is not for me to do so in this format. Um, ask me if you want to know my opinions. I'll happily tell you. But they saw what was going on. Obviously, a lot of families being displaced and a lot of children being damaged. So... Conqueror decided that they would create a unique um, Ukraine challenge. You do a little virtual walk of Ukraine. It's £20 an entry. And whereas you would usually get like a medal or a race bib or a lovely t-shirt for your troubles, this time all of the proceeds, 100%, are going to the, uh, the Red Cross and to the Ukraine Children in Need kind of charity, which is amazing. Um, what was really cool is the group on Facebook where all of us who participate in these challenges, we kind of meet and egg each other on, um, send encouraging photos and whatnot. People decided, rather than just buying one copy of this challenge, that they would buy five, 10, sometimes 20 entries um, to make sure that they were giving as much money as they possibly could to these kids in Ukraine who, like I say, they're going through absolute hell at the moment. Um, and then they started giving out the codes to other members of the group who couldn't necessarily maybe afford to participate but wanted to, or just randomly inboxing them. I got a message from a lovely uh, from a lovely woman in the States who very kindly just sent me a code and just said, it's a gift, pay it forward. So to summarize, my kind of takeaway this month is to be a real hero. You don't have to be, you know, built like a brick outhouse. Trust me, I'm not, um, but just, affect the people you can in a positive way who are in your sphere of influence. Do tiny things. A bit like that Cadbury advert where the kids keep knocking the ball over the old man's fence and then, you know, they decide to pay him back for his kindness. They get him a little bar of dairy milk just to say, thanks, Mr. Whatever your name is. You know, we appreciate you. So that is my challenge to you guys, to pass on the love that you receive from other people. Um, we are at the end of the video now, so I will just before I go introduce what we're going to do next month. I'm excited we are doing our East meets West uh, themed month. So all things from Japan and from uh, the Middle East, that kind of thing. There's going to be some food stuff. There's going to be an unboxing. It's going to be a lot of fun. But as always, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like my content, like, share, subscribe, punch that notification bell if you want to be alerted to when I go live uh, or with a new video. But until next time, stay safe. Love you. Bye.